hey guys so i'm um yeah i didn't feel like talking at the time because i did this early in the morning and i was a little tired so i'm showing you a tutorial how you can do a fake bun a fake natural full bun i'm doing it on one one week and two to three days old flat twist out so basically i did my flat twist a week ago and it's just puffy and it's crazy and I just I co-wash the flat twist to do a fake natural bun for the second week that I had these twists in before I, I finally took them out um, and you can do this fake natural bun on natural hair relaxed hair uh, text lax, uh, transitioning hair on any type of hair because basically after you add your natural bun I'll show you how you can add a scarf around your hair around the perimeter of your head that way you don't really see the texture of your actual hair you just see the texture of the fake hair that will be used to make your bun huge as you can see, while I'm putting this hair up in a bun, my bun is looks like a freaking munchkin. <laughs> you know, like those munchkins you get from Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, it ain't really nothing. So, <laughs> I want a real full bun. So, I'm using fake Marley here. Yay! This is just, you know, fake Marley. It's just basically the, um... Marley braid here, like you use for like kinky twists, so it's in a you know. So it's just a five dollar pack of Marley braid here, and basically there's a rubber band in the middle. I secured the rubber band around the perimeter of my bun. Now I split it in half on both sides, and then I split that one half into a quarter. And then I take those two parts, and then I just twist it, but very loosely. I just want this to be like a, um, you know, no, it doesn't have to be like a really, really um, set style. Just a regular bun, you know. I know there's millions of videos on here, but hey, it's my channel. I'm going to show you how I do it. <laughs> and to show you, even if you're relaxed, but you want to, you know, spice it up or you just want to see how, you know, if you want to try like a, a natural, a more natural texture. Then you can do this too. And even if you're relaxed, maybe if you could wash your hair and I guess do a braid out. So you you do slightly might see your actual hair out in the back. But once you put the scarf on, you won't really notice your actual hair at all. Which is genius because my hair is so ready to be taken out of these damn flat twists. Like, I did flat twists on the side, and then I just did um, two strand twists in the back. Uh, it was just a nice flat twist hairstyle that I was rocking for a while. Okay, so the second half, I'm, you know, I just loosely twist. I took the second half, I split it in two, and then now I'm just loosely wrapping that around two, and I'm just bobby pinning it up. <clears throat> okay. And I do the same thing with the last part. I just loosely pin it and I just put it over because I was trying to put it around but it was basically coming all the way down to my forehead. It just looked weird. So I put it actually over the top of the whole bun. So, <laughs> and yeah, I know I just, yeah, I just made it work. Just play with it until the bun is the shape to your liking. So I'm just playing with it now. I'm almost done. I'm just going to pin it down until it's secure. Until I feel like it won't pop off. <laughs> as soon as I start shaking my head. Like I'll ever be shaking my head. And he, yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so also after I'm done um, shaping and pinning down my bun. I pin down any um, twists that were loosely falling in the back too. So I just pin it up very loosely. Okay. Now it is scarf time. Ooh. So yeah, I'm just making sure, you know, the shape is on point. Here we go. So the scarf I got, I got from the beauty supply store for around $4 or $5. Nothing special. So what I'm doing with the scarf, I am going to put it in. Well, I'm putting the um end over the top the long way. So I don't want the end to show. And then I also I put I put the scarf in half. It's just really big. 
I might cut it, but I didn't feel like it. So yeah, and then I put the end inside and I fold over. I didn't want the end part to show. See? So, because the, um, the end of it was like a bold, just reg like a solid brown color, but I like the pattern. I wanted the pattern to be shown around my whole head. So basically, I just twisted in the front, one twist, and I like having a little knot off to the side. I don't really like the whole centered circle turban look. Nah, it ain't for me. So, <laughs> I like doing knots, but I don't like doing the huge circle thingy. But hey, do what you do what you like for your personal style or what you fit works for you. So, I just like a little tiny knot and I like to just put it slightly to the side. And that's about it, see? So it basically covers most of your actual hair. So if you're relaxed, you wouldn't even notice because it'll be covered by the scarf. You know, any type of texture here you have. As long as the hair color of your actual hair around the rim of your head and in the back matches the bun, then it'll look pretty natural. And that's what I've been doing for most of the week, um, you know, since... This is the second week that I'm wearing this flat twist style. It's extremely um, fuzzy. So, that's the end of the tutorial. Tell me if you like it. Um, post your comments below and subscribe if you have not. I'll show more of my hairstyles. I am transitioning. I am around 13 months into my transition. So, it's over a year and one month. And it's been going pretty well. But I love this style, especially on lazy days where I just don't feel like doing my hair. So, bye, y'all. Again, it's your girl, Urban Chick one And I will see y'all later. Bye! And comment, comment, subscribe. Later!